everyone today I'm gonna to be reviewing a brand new Crayola set it's called the paint maker I purchased it at Walmart for $24.97 and if you don't have a Walmart in your area I've also noticed that amazon.com sells it as well and I will put the link down below just in case you want to order it off of Amazon <clears throat> oh hey Elsa how are ya Listen, I was just wondering why we actually need a paint maker. I mean, can we just mix two colors of our own paint to create a new color? Well, you do make a good point, Elsa, but I think you make paint a little bit differently in this set. Instead of mixing liquid paint colors together, you're actually going to be using paint strips to make the different colors. Oh, well that sounds pretty cool. I can't wait to see how this works. So let me just show you the box really quickly before I go ahead and open it up. It says you can mix and shake your own colors and it is I guess less mess since it uses paint strips instead of liquid paint to mix the colors. Alright now here is one side and then here is the back showing you all the items that come inside the box and then here is the other side. Alright well let's get this guy open. Whoa this looks like a lot of pieces. So what do you get inside the set? Well, it does come in a few pieces, so you have to put it together when you get it out of the box. This is a three-piece tray, and this piece on the left is to hold your paint pots. Let me grab some of the paint pots and let me show you what they look like. So these are made out of plastic and they come with their own individual lid, and they fit nicely in the tray. The paint pots don't actually fit unless you rip off the lid, and the lids are super easy to rip off. So we're just going to put a few in the tray. There, I think five is enough to work with for now. So here is the right side, and the right side holds your paint base. And this right here is your paint base, which you're gonna mix the colors together with. And here is the tray that is full of the paint strips, and they come in red, yellow, and blue. Each of these squares has some preparation marks, and they contain five individual strips, which you need to tear off when you start making the paint. The set also comes with this paintbrush, you also get these paint maker instructions, which are pretty easy to follow. You get this paint maker recipe guide to show you how to make the individual colors. They give you these labels, which you will put on your paint colors and add to your paint pods when you're done mixing each color. Also included is this paper, so you have something to paint on when you're done mixing your paint colors. All right, Elsa, are you ready to make some paint? Which color of paint would you like to make? Um, there's so many beautiful colors here. It's gonna be hard to choose, but you know what? I think I wanna choose this one right here, the second one from the top. That's pretty close to your dress color, Elsa. Let's make that one. Well, let's grab an empty paint pot and we'll put it over here on the right side. Let's get some of our paint strips out. And for this color combination, it's gonna need four blue and one yellow. These are a little bit tricky to work with at first, so what you're going to do is you're going to pick off the paint strip off the dull side of the paint square. And let me see if I can get a second one. So you can see the, there's a dull side. And you, these are a little bit tricky at first. I haven't quite mastered taking these off of the paint square yet. Let's see if we can get the rest of them off here. There we go. So let's carefully attach each paint strip. All right, and we'll just put them right into the paint pot. There is four blue. Then we'll add the one yellow. There we go. Then we'll add some of the paint base. We'll just squeeze some in. I'm not really doing any measuring. I'm just kind of squirting some in the little paint pot. And before I mix it, we're gonna wanna put the lid back on the container. There we go. So in order to get the paint mixer to work properly, you're going to want to line up the lid tabs just like this, or else they don't fit quite right. To put the container into the paint mixer, the top tabs on the top of the lid have to be looking at 9 o'clock. Then you're going to twist it to 12 o'clock so that they fit underneath that blue tab. Now we just need to turn the paint marker wheel for about 30 seconds, and this is how your paint gets shooken up and mixed together. Well, that seemed like enough time, so let's check our paint to see if it was mixed. And, oh, 
It doesn't look mixed at all. Oh no. Well, I end up using the brush and kind of mixing the base and the paint strips together. So we'll try putting it in the machine again. All right, there we go. That's a lot better this time around. Ah, oh, that's a beautiful color. That very closely matches my dress. I like it a lot. Okay, let's make another one. Let's go, let's go. Let's go with the complete opposite color this time. I kind of like the second one from the bottom. Let's do this one. Let's make our paint a little bit different this time. Let's add the paint base before we put in our paint strips. So here is some of the base paint. Then let's add our four red paint strips to the mix. Here is our one yellow added to the rest of the mix. This time I think I'll use the paintbrush and kind of smoosh everything together. There we go. So I've put the lid back on, added it to the maker again, and we'll turn again for another 30 seconds. Well, I can already see that this paint mixing procedure worked a lot better this time. Oh, that is a great pretty red color. You know, it kind of looks like the color of watermelon. I just wanted to show you guys a quick demonstration of what it's like to work with this type of paint. It felt nice and thick and it went on the paper very smoothly. When you change colors, of course, you're going to need a separate little water cup and it helps to have a paper towel on hand as well. Those look so pretty on paper. Elsa, let's name these colors so we can put our labels on. What would you name them? The top color really reminds me of watermelons. So let's name the red color watermelon and the bottom color, let's name that ocean. All right, label's done. Now we know what colors they are when we use them next time. So Elsa, what'd you think of the paint maker? Well, I thought it was super fun to make the individual paint colors. I really liked turning that little wheel. That made a lot of loud noises, but I kind of liked it. Um, the, you know, the paint base kind of smelled. It was really strong. So when you first open it up, don't smell it. Because it smells almost like bad band-aids. Yeah, I have to agree with you. That had a really odd smell to it. Overall, though, I have to say I enjoyed making the paint. That was pretty fun. And the paint, when it went onto the paper, was really smooth. And it seemed like a nice quality paint. Yeah, I have to agree with you also. The texture of the paint was really nice. The only problem I had at first was snapping the trays into the main base. So you guys are definitely going to need some help with that. Well, thanks guys so much for watching this review of the Crayola Paint Maker. If you guys liked it, please go ahead and hit that like button. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now!